De Die Minutes nummer 1439 met een uitzending voor vandaag, 14 oktober 2018. Dit is het Britten van Zondag. Normaal spreek ik de laatste twee weken deze uitzending meestal in de avond van tevoren of ochtends heel vroeg. Maar het is ongebruikelijk laat, het is zondag eind van de middag. Vandaag is er geen data. The major part of this broadcast, by the way, will be in English. Het grootste gedeelte van deze uitzending is in het Engels. We beginnen echter in het Nederlands. Allereerst over het contact met het ISS vanuit Turnhout, waarbij Jurgen ON3JVB een grote rol speelt. Het mislukken van het lanceren van twee nieuwe bewoners voor het ISS afgelopen week heeft geen gevolgen gehad voor het tijdstip. Het contact tussen ON4 en ok strook P bij het sint Joseph College in Turnhout aanstaande dinsdag gaat gewoon door. Het begint op 4 minuten over 12 UTC en er is 4 minuten over 2 Nederlandse tijd, waarbij vanuit Nederland vrijwel zeker alleen de kant van het ISS te horen is en dat op 145-800. Aanstaande dinsdag 16 oktober dus, het ISS te ontvangen vanaf ongeveer 4 minuten over 2, lokale tijd op 145 800. Als iemand een opname heeft, dan wil ik die graag woensdag in de uitzending laten horen als dat kan. Gisteren vond de DKARS VHF UHF SHF Week Signaldag plaats. Ja, het is een mondvol. We melden dat vrijdag al. Organisator Hans van Alphen, PNL EHG, meldt vandaag dat de dag gisteren al een aantal positieve reacties heeft opgeleverd. En vooral suggesties om volgend jaar weer zo'n dag te houden. De opkomst dit jaar was in elk geval zeer behoorlijk. De presentaties waarop de dag toch grotendeels rust waren volgens Hans zeker geslaagd. Er is een grote kans dat volgend jaar er een vierde DKARS VHF UHF SHF Week Signaldag komt. Op 9 maart 2019 wordt trouwens de tweede DKAS HF Week Signaldag gehouden. Voor de goede orde gisteren ging het om VHF, UHF, SHF. De tweede op 9 maart wordt net als de eerste in Kootwijkenbroek gehouden. De nieuwsbrief van het IARO Monitoring System over september kwam vorige week weer uit. Het is vaak een herhaling van de vorige maand helaas, maar dit keer niet helemaal. De twee omroepzenders Radio Hargeisa in Somaliland op 7120 en Radio Eritrea op 7140, beide illegaal in onze amateurband, zonden de afgelopen weken dus niet uit. Reden onbekend. Ja, daar gaan we weer de vissers die zich vogelvrij wanen. Vissers uit Spanje hebben als vaste frequentie 14,320 gekozen. Marokkaanse vissers waren illegaal te horen op 10,140 en op 14,0. Het Russische over de horizonradar Sunflower, de smalbandiger opvolger van de woedpekker, zat toch ook weer in onze banden. Afgelopen maand was de installatie met name zeer actief op 40 meter. Het signaal houdt dan vaak een groot deel van de hele amateurband bezet. Het systeem staat wel ver weg opgesteld in Vladivostok, maar komt hier in Europa niet te min behoorlijk sterk binnen. In de Middellandse Zee zonden verschillende Russische schepen RTTY uit, 50 bout met 200 hertz shift, naarbij Cyprus op 7110 kHz en naarbij Creta op 7179 kHz. Een ander Russisch systeem AT3004D was op 20 september op 7198 kHz te horen. Het waren dit keer wel veel Russen, maar het waren niet alleen Russen. Het over de horizonradar op Cyprus was actief bovenop onze amateurband tussen 18060 en 18080, op 17 meter dus. En dit was helaas nog maar een greep uit het geheel. Gaan we nu verder in het Engels met het RSGB bulletin van vandaag in de versie van TX Factor. Hallo, dit is Mike Marsh, G1IAR, en welkom to the TX News podcast of the GB2RS National News for Sunday, the 14th of October 2018, supplied by the Radio Society of Great Britain and brought to you by TX Factor. The news headlines this week, RSGB past president, Golf India 3, Kilo Yankee Papa, Silent Key. VHF contest consultation, now on. And do you want to activate Golf Bravo 18 Yota? Sad news to kick off the main news this week. RSGB past president Alexander Davidson Patterson, OBE, FIEE, and more importantly, Golf India 3 Kilo Yankee Papa, died on October the 10th, 2018, peacefully at home, surrounded by his family. Better known as Barney, he was RSGB president in 1967. Barney travelled widely during his presidency and, among many other achievements, oversaw the purchase of 28 Little Russell Street in London, which was as then the brand new RSGB HQ. 
Also holding the call sign Echo India for Bravo Charlie, he served as president of the Irish Radio Transmitters Society in 1971 and 1972, the only person ever to have held both posts. His funeral is on Monday at 1pm in Roselawn Crematorium and our thoughts are with his family and friends at this very difficult time. The RSGB Contest Committee has opened the 2018 edition of the RSGB VHF Contesting Consultation for comments at surveymonkey.co.uk forward slash r forward slash VHFCC 2018 to help set the rules for next year, 2019. They are specifically looking for your views around the AFS contests, FM activity contests, possible new MGM contests, Christmas cumulatives, the 432 MHz low power, and the SHF UK activity contests. But also they're really open to hearing your broader views about what's right and where you think things could be different. The survey closes at midnight on Sunday the 29th of October. This year, the RSGB has secured the call sign GB18 Yota for the December Yota month event. Club groups and individuals from all over the country are needed to set up stations and host the call sign over the 31 days in December. The RSGB is particularly looking for stations with a passion for running events aimed at encouraging youngsters into the hobby. So if you think your group or your club is up for the exciting challenge of hosting young people and operating a special event station, go ahead and look at the webpage rsgb.org slash yota hyphen month for further information and also for all the application details. For any questions you've got, you can send an email to yota.month at rsgb.org.uk and the deadline for the applications is Monday the 29th of October. This year's Jamboree on the Air and Jamboree on the Internet will take place from the 19th to the 21st of October. About 1.8 million scouts will be participating from around the world. Some 20,000 licensed amateur radio operators put 12,000 radio stations on the air. Over the weekend of the 20th and the 21st of October, Hartlepool ALC will be among many stations joining in. Using Golf Bravo Zero, Tango, Victor, Sierra from the Hartlepool Scout Centre on the Stockton Road in Hartlepool. They'll be active on HF, SSB and CW, plus VHF and UHF on FM. A full programme of activities run jointly with leaders from Tees Valley Scouts will enable local Cub Scouts to obtain the Cub Communications Activity Badge. The third Limerick Scout Group will also participate using the call sign Echo India 1 Kilo. And for all the details about this event, check the webpage at Jota Jotai, that's J O T A J O T I dot info. The National Association of Icelandic Radio Amateurs has announced that access to the 70 MHz band in Iceland has been extended to 70.250 MHz. Also, applicants are now granted a two-year licence. This new frequency extension means that Icelandic radio amateurs can now make full use of the international calling frequency on 70.200. Access is still granted on a secondary basis with a maximum bandwidth of 16 kHz and a power limit of 100 watts. An international space station school contact had been planned between Alexander, Kilo Foxtrot 5, Oscar November, Oscar at a school in Belgium. Now the event is scheduled for Tuesday the 16th of October at approximately 12.04 UTC and the conversation will be conducted in English and German. The contact will be directly operated by Oscar November 4, November Oscar Kilo and downlink signals will be audible in parts of Europe Europe on 145.800 MHz FM. However, plans might be disrupted by last Thursday's failed Soyuz launch. 
Finally, in the headline news this week, the Isle of Wight Radio Society will be active at the Noel Turner Physics Festival on the 18th of October at Cowes Enterprise College on the Isle of Wight. The club will be explaining about the use of satellites by radio amateurs and schools supporting young people to learn about science, technology, engineering and maths and the important part that amateur radio can play in this. The club has also arranged for the FunCube satellite, that's Alpha Oscar 7-3, to beam a greetings message, saying greetings to all at the Noel Turner Physics Festival, Cows, Isle of Wight. And the event there is open to the public from 4pm to 6pm on the 18th. Next up now, it's details of the rallies and events for the coming week. On Sunday the 14th of October, the Hornsey Amateur Radio Rally will take place in the Floral Hall in Hornsey. And the postcode there is Hotel Uniform 181 November, Quebec. Doors open at 10 in the morning and admission is £2, with under-14s getting in for free. There'll be trade stands, a bring and buy, which is run by the Hornsey ARC, and there's an RSGB bookstall too. Hot and cold food available in the cafe... And if you need more information, get in touch with Les to Echo Zero Lima Bravo Juliet on his landline, which is 01377 252 393. Also on Sunday the 14th, it's the Holdsworthy Radio Rally. That takes place at Holdsworthy Community College on Victoria Hill in Holdsworthy. That's in Devon and the postcode there is EX226 Juliet Delta. There'll be traders, a bring and buy and some catering. Doors open at 10 in the morning. And if you'd like more information, get in touch with Howard, Mike Zero, Mike Yankee Bravo. Do it via email to HoldsworthyARC, all one word, at gmail. The Carrick Fergus ARC rally will take place next Saturday, that's the 20th of October, at Downshire Secondary School on the Downshire Road in Carrick Fergus. The doors open at 11am and all are welcome, and more details are available from Liz, Mike India 6, Golf Hotel Alpha, via email, it's Elizabeth Ford with an E64 at yahoo.com. Elizabeth Ford 64 at yahoo.com. On the 21st, it's the Gala Shields Radio Rally taking place at Volunteer Hall on St John Street in Gala Shields. Postcode Tango Delta 13 Juliet X Ray. Doors open at 11.15 with disabled visitors gaining access from 11. And there's traders, a bring and buy, and refreshments available on site. Admission is £2.50. The British Railways ARS is holding its AGM at the Brunswick Inn in Derby on Tuesday, the 23rd of October. Bras members are invited from 11am for an informal meet, greet and chat. And the formal AGM starts at 1.15 in the afternoon. If you'd like more information, head over to the website at www.brars.com. Dot info and then follow the link from the front page and as we like to remind you every single week to get your event into radcom and gb2rs don't forget to send those details in as early as possible to radcom at rsgb.org.uk we need to know at least three months in advance to actually get your event into the radcom magazine so you have been warned All right, let's move on to the DX News from 425 DX News and other sources. Look out for Papa 4 slash November November 5 Echo and Papa 4 slash November Tango 5 Victor, who will be active from Aruba. And the IOTA reference there is Sierra Alpha 036. Now, they'll be doing that until the 19th of October, operating CW, SSB, RTTY and FT8 on the 10 to 80 metre bands. If you get a contact, QSLs via Logbook of the World or via their home calls. Philippe Foxtrot 1 Delta Uniform Zulu will be active as Foxtrot Golf 4 Kilo Hotel from Guadeloupe. That's November Alpha 102 from the 16th of October to the 7th of November. He'll be operating SSB and FT8 on the HF bands and QSL via Logbook of the World EQSL or to Foxtrot 1 Delta Uniform Zulu direct or via the Bureau. Shijie Juliet Hotel 1 Golf November Uniform, 
Kaz, Juliet Hotel One, Hotel Romeo Juliet, and TAC, Juliet Echo One, Sierra Charlie Juliet, will be active as Zulu Lima 7 X-Ray from the Chatham Islands. Oscar Charlie 038 is your IOTA reference. They'll be doing it from the 16th to the 22nd of October and operating CW, SSB and FT8 on the 160 to 10 metre bands. More information is up on qrz.com. Search for Zulu Lima 7 X-Ray. If you get a contact, QSL via Logbook of the World and EQSL. Traditional cards go via Juliet Alpha Zero, Victor Sierra Hotel, direct or via the Bureau or Log Search on Club Log. Haru, Juliet Alpha 1, X-Ray Golf India will be active as Echo Alpha 9 slash Whiskey 1 X-Ray Golf India from Melilla between the 16th and the 22nd of October. It'll operate mainly CW and FT8 on various HF bands, QSL via Club Log's OQRS Logbook of the World or direct via Juliet Alpha 1, X-Ray Golf India. Now, here's a bunch of call signs coddling together. Echo Alpha 1, Alpha Charlie Papa. Echo Alpha 1, Delta Victor Yankee. Echo Alpha 7, Foxtrot Tango Romeo. Echo Bravo 7, Delta X-Ray. Hotel Hotel 2, Juliet Romeo. And Hotel Hotel 2, Mike Kilo will be active as 4, Victor 7 Romeo from Haiti. November Alpha 096 between the 19th and the 29th of October. They'll be operating CW, SSB, RTTY and FT8 on the 160 to 6 metre bands and QSL via Echo Bravo 7 Delta X-Ray. Tony, Golf 2 November Foxtrot. Nigel, Golf 3 Tango X-Ray Foxtrot. Chris, Golf 3 Sierra Victor Lima. David, Golf 3 Whiskey Golf November, and Mike, Golf 3 Whiskey Papa Hotel, will be active as Victor Kilo 9 X-Ray Golf from Christmas Island. That's Oscar Charlie 002. Between the 17th and the 30th of October, they'll be operating CW, SSB, FT8, D-Expedition mode, and perhaps some RTTY as well on the 160 to 10 metre bands with four stations. QSL via Logbook of the World, Club Logs OQRS or via Golf 3 Tango X-Ray Foxtrot. Now that's your DX news. What about the special events news for the upcoming week? Only one to talk about this week. Scarborough ARS will be operating Golf Bravo to Yankee Mike Romeo from Pickering War Weekend on Sunday the 14th of October from the North Yorkshire Moors Railway Station in Pickering. Operations will include some modern and military radios and a warm welcome is extended to all visitors and those that they contact on the air. And a time Timely reminder now that we're happy to publicise your event on GB2RS in RADCOM and on the RSGB website and get your details sent in to radcom at rsgb.org. Dot uk as soon as you can and don't forget one condition of getting a special event call sign is that the station must be open to the public so our free publicity can help get your efforts more widely known and get more punters through the door now the contest news the oceana dxcw contest ends its 24-hour run at 0800 utc on sunday the 14th using the 1.8 to 28 megahertz contest bands the exchange is signal report and serial number sunday the 14th it's the irts 40 meters counties contest and it runs from 1200 to 1400 utc using cw and ssb on the 7 megahertz band the exchange is signal report and serial number with ei and gi stations also sending their county on tuesday the 1.3 gigahertz uk activity contest runs from 1900 to 2130 using all modes the exchange is signal report serial number and locator and on wednesday the 80 meter autumn series contest runs from 1900 to 2030 utc using data only the exchange is signal report and serial number Next day on Thursday, it's the 70 MHz FM Activity Contest. That runs from 1800 to 1900 UTC using FM only, and it's immediately followed by the all-mode 70 MHz UK Activity Contest from 1900 to 2130 UTC. The exchange for both contests is the same, signal report, serial number and locator. 
Next weekend, he worked all Germany contest runs from 1500 UTC on the 20th to 1500 UTC on the 21st, using CW and SSB on the 3.5 to 28 MHz bands, the exchange's signal report and serial number, with German stations sending DOK as well. On Sunday the 21st, it's the 50 MHz AFS and it takes place from 0900 to 1300 UTC. Using all modes, the exchange is signal report, serial number and locator. The UK Microwave Group's 24 to 76 gigahertz contest runs from 0900 to 1700 on the 21st of October. Using all modes, the exchange is signal report, serial number and locator. And finally, in the contests, the RSGB second row low contest runs from 1900 to 2030 UTC on Sunday the 21st. Using CW on the 3.5 megahertz band, the exchanges signal report and the rolling locator. Now looking into their crystal ball for radio propagation details for next week, it's Golf Zero, Kilo Yankee Alpha, and Golf 3, Yankee Lima Alpha, and Golf 4, Bravo Alpha Oscar, providing the radio propagation report on Friday the 11th of October. Last week was not very good for HF propagation with the effects of an enormous solar coronal hole and its associated high-speed solar winds sending the K-index soaring. There were, however, some upsides. The initial positive phase of a geomagnetic storm saw maximum usable frequencies rise to more than 21 MHz during the afternoon and early evening of Sunday the 7th of October. These positive phases are very hard to predict, but it's always worth checking as a rise in the solar wind speed and pressure, coupled with a south-facing BZ or interplanetary magnetic magnetic field could be signals that something is about to happen, often before the three hourly K index changes. The propagation charts at Golf Zero Kilo Yankee Alpha dot blogspot dot com include near real time output from the ACE spacecraft, which can show these effects, or you can go to solarham.com where you can also find information. HF conditions this weekend may be unsettled again. Another large equatorial coronal hole is moving across the sun and rotating and becoming Earth-facing on Thursday. This means we may expect unsettled geomagnetic conditions perhaps from Sunday the 13th. Now, according to NOAA, conditions may again become unsettled on Thursday the 18th right through to Saturday the 20th. Now, barring any surprises, we will likely see no sunspots this week, with the solar flux index hovering around the 69 mark. Unfortunately, though, this will probably remain the pattern for the next few months. Although we're now into October, we are seeing more DX available when conditions allow. Kenneth Tango Tango 8 Kilo Oscar in Chad has been a strong CW signal on 15 metres at times, although the Echo 6 Yankee D expedition in Nui in the South Pacific has proved a little too elusive for many. Now the VHF and upwards propagation news for the week ahead. It's going to be much more of an autumnal week coming up, with the best of the recent tropo having declined by now. That leaves us with the predominantly low pressure near or just to the north of the British Isles and at times rather windy weather, especially in the north of the country. Tropo is not looking very likely next week, but there may be some options for rain scatter, perhaps, but we're not very convinced that this could be a major outcome. I guess it's a good time to check your antennas before the winter gales become the norm and perhaps try your luck on the VHF and UHF frequencies in case of any short tropo or rain scatter events. Or why not make a winter resolution to learn more, sort of get on the UHF and the microwave bands, or perhaps set up your station for digital modes where such QSOs can can make use of the bands that may be dead or marginal to voice modes. The moon is at minimum declination tomorrow and at apogee on Wednesday, so it's a poor week for EME with short, low elevation passes and high losses. October continues to produce meteor showers with the Eta Geminids, a small one, peaking on Thursday, followed by the Orionids a week on Sunday. But neither are much to get excited about due to the low meteor rates. That's about it from the propagation team for another week. And you guessed it, that's all we've got for your GB2RS national news for the UK 
from around the world this week. Don't forget you can catch up with all your local and your regional news. That's the regional GB2RS read on the air by a regional on the air GB2RS newsreader who will be reading it on the air right where you live, coming out of your radio. They do it on a Sunday and if you don't know who's doing it, check out the PDF file which we've stored for you on the txfactor.co.uk website. Click on the homepage, find the GB2RS news tab and you can grab that PDF which details all the broadcasters across the country and what time they are on the air and they are reading it. That's it for another week. I'm Mike Marsh, G1IAR, reporting with the TX News weekly podcast of GB2RS. Thanks for listening. If you weren't there, I'd have been doing this all to myself. We'll see you back here next week with the very latest update of GB2RS News. With over 220 people dead and a path of destruction hundreds of miles long, survivors of the Alabama tornadoes found themselves in whole cities without power, telephones, internet, cell phones, or other ways to communicate. And who is there to help in this devastation? The amateur radio operators. Ham radio people are providing communications between shelters, relief centers, emergency operations centers, search and rescue groups, and a host of relief organizations as they respond to the crisis. In the days to come, more hams will arrive from around the country to be assigned where they're needed most. These unpaid volunteers are using their radio skills to get critical voice and digital messages through. When other systems go down or are overwhelmed, ham radio people using modern equipment still are reliable like they always have been. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Alle mail is welkom op het adres x xapenstaatjexdv.me. Dat is ook te vinden rechts bovenaan de webpagina van de uitzending www.pa0ete.nl. De Daily Minutes toont iedere dag weer aan de hand van schokkende voorbeelden hoe een hobby mensenlevens kan veranderen. De internetfaciliteiten en studio hardware voor Daily Minutes worden gesponsord door 70 megahertzshop.nl. 70 mhzshop.nl. En microfoon naar retour.